Alors, du jour, tous les geeklap, ou oh, dans la du geek, ou oh, le shit hole, ou whatever you want to call it. Anyway, today we're going to play with the BBC Micro again. And this time we're going to have an adventure in a maze in space. Yes, a game called A Maze in Space. And it's a title that really doesn't reflect the game. Because the game is more like, well, that other game that I can never remember the title of, name of. There's many clones and I'm sure when you see the game you'll uh, put in the comments as to what it is. So, without further ado, just disappearing off camera for a second. Without further ado, or slight further ado, just to let you know that after this video I'm going to plug this into this, then I'm going to plug this into the snuggy map with a bottle of wine and watch a film, 80s style, in the cinema. Oh yeah. Anyway, apart from that, uh, let's get on with the bloody game, shall we? Right, here we are with the original Cub Cube monitor with the original BBC Master and we're going to play this today off the Turbo MMC solid state storage system. So, here we have Amazing Space. So if you get any scrolling, it's because I'm using a CRT. <coughs> Can't avoid that with British cameras. The run at the wrong speed. Okay, okay, so let's uh, get into this thing. Opus Software presents Amazing Space. Another game by Slogger Software. Don't know what the other games were. We have to look that up sometime. Do you want instructions? Now, at this point, you are best advised to press N because the instructions just scroll through and give you no option to escape and they take ages. So, no, I don't want instructions, but it will give you uh, some instructions anyway. So, fighting a lot. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Your target, 5,000 points. <coughs> Right, A, Z, left, right, and space is fire. Yes, you'll see the resemblance uh, to another game pretty quickly, but it does have some variety. So, here we go. Amazing space, press fire button or space bar. Fire button is the space bar. So, anyway, we start with a bit of, uh, a bit of the old whack a woo And you have to fight your way through these... Bloody great big spears, and they are very, yeah, as you can see there, um, they are very awkward to get through, so. Can take a few attempts. Okay, these things uh, are physically hurting my ears. Ow. And there's no volume control on the BBC Master, so I'm um, screwed. So, yeah, we have to go through a few of them and shoot a few of them, which tries to hurt in my ears. And then we come on to. Yeah, where it quickly resembles another game. And I can't for the life of me remember what the other game is called. Now, the advantage of this game or the other game is... Ow, that hurts my ears. The, uh, it bombs at the same time as it fires, so you don't have to worry about that. And the landscape uh, changes every game. It's very pretty, very colourful. Very loud. You might want to. Uh... Ah! Well done, you've completed your mission. Ow. You might want to wear ear defenders when playing this because of that high pitch. But I don't remember that being a problem last time, it's just this time for some strange reason, must be my ears. Okay, so D, 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 and space. I've completed my mission. Excellent. It's the first time I've completed it. Okay, let's. Go on to the next mission. Oh, here the spears again. Those things kill them. Yeah, you might want to kill the sound on your on your BBC if you're playing this. Now there is a number up the top there. It's 36 at the moment. It changes. I have no clue what that's for. And yeah, I really didn't want to look at the instructions because they take for sodding ever, ever to go through. So no thank you. Uh, so, anyway, let's fuel, let's fuel, let's fuel. Looks like it's fuel on. Not sure, but my, on one attempt at this, my gun inexplicably ran out of fuel. Of, uh, I inexplicably ran out of, uh, weapons, so I have no idea on that just I do think those little things sitting on the floor look like garlics. I wonder if that was intentional. 
doesn't matter because I like this uh, version of this game anyway. And whatever that number represents at the moment, we have plenty of them. So, not unless something's beeping at me. I don't know what the 10 stands for either, so... No bloody idea. This level's a bit longer. Oh, okay, it's just changed colour. Uh, no, there's not too much variety in uh, gameplay. All pretty consistent throughout. And there's that beacon again. Oh! I do sometimes feel that the spacecraft uh, can't move as fast as it should do to get around some of the obstacles, but so far, on this attempt, it seems to be going okay, so let's not complain too much. I think the scenery is much better and much more colourful than many variations on this, uh, the theme of this game. So, yeah, I'm doing alright. I want to find the, the boss or whatever it is. This is going on forever. I wouldn't exactly call this a maze either. It's uh, very linear, as usual. So, no. It is not a maze. A maze? It is not. Let's see if we can get some sort of second boss, if that's possible. And then, uh, ah, there we go. I inexplicably run out of weapons there. So, enter your name. RGVX. VX. And that is a maze in space. Uh, yeah, strange sort of version. Quite fun, uh, but, uh, hmm. Yes, the variety seemed to be dying out of it there. I don't know what it's like after the second level. But that's as far as I got. So if you want to go, go, I recommend you have a go at that one. It's a nice it's a little uh, clone of whatever game it is. I can't remember for the life of me. So, anyway, please comment, subscribe. And if you liked the video, please consider tickling that little like button down there. Or down there in the future. Or wherever it's moved you might be there. Could be there, could be there, could be there. And those 3D glasses. But anyway, thank you all very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.